Hey, what's up guys? Brian the Log here. Back with you on this Saturday to actually uh, run a couple tests here on my medals. So, um, you guys have seen the $100 silver 4 ounce note I have. And this is a 5 ounce copper round that I have. And um, I actually ran, ran the ping test on this thing. I don't know if it's because of its shape or what, but it doesn't ping too well. So, this is why I'm going over actually two tests that you guys have probably done before but I'll do them here for you guys just to show you anyway so here we have four ounce silver bar neodymium magnet strong rare earth magnet let's see this is pretty high angled and that's a pretty slow descent for this magnet let's put it at a higher angle yeah so seems to pass the magnet test pretty well uh, now copper round I don't know how lucky we're gonna be with this if it does it let's see not really as much it goes a little faster oh that was slow I guess it really depends eh, it's pretty slow just like the silver as long as it adheres to the surface here so those two things went through the magnet test quite well I've never tried this myself but I'm gonna try it for the first time today it's a little bit of an ice test if I could get this other piece out of here we'll start it there we go so I'm gonna try to put this down at the same time guys and see how long this takes they say silver is supposed to go instantly so let's see And I don't know if you see that, but that thing's sliding off the silver. The copper is going pretty well too, but definitely not as fast as the silver. And, uh, oh yeah, they're going. I'm actually interested to see which one melts faster. So we're going to keep this going. Get this one back on the silver. So it could go. This is room temperature, nothing's different here. Try to soak up some of this water over here. Destroying my computer bench. All in the name of science. So, what I am seeing here is that both of these items are cold now and it seems that the melting has stopped or slowed down very significantly now, let me take a closer look myself to see um, they look pretty equal to me guys I mean the silver did go a lot faster in the beginning than the copper I don't know if that's anything, but over time, I mean, they melted about the same. The copper actually looks smaller than the silver. I don't know if that's because the silver got colder faster, so it stopped melting um, as quick. But at least to my eyes, the silver definitely conducted uh, the heat faster or the cold, whichever. I'm guessing heat because of thermal it conducted that heat faster than the copper did now, I don't know if shape counts or if uh, you know the shape of the round the bars surface area counts but like I said this got cold pretty quick compared to the copper so guys um, I'm definitely gonna say that bar is silver I haven't I was having a little bit of a doubt but those two tests put some confidence in me and uh, who's going to fake copper, right? Why would you fake a copper round? But it's a good side-by-side -side comparison. Um, if, I would love someone else to do this test, actually, who has more copper bars, gold bars, and silver bars. And maybe run um ping test also. I'm not going to do a ping test on these. It's hard with that silver bar. And um, this is getting quite long. But anyway guys, like I said, if any one of you would like to put out a video 
just for the scientific nature of it to show other stackers what to look for I hope this helped this is the ice test and the rare earth magnet test and I hope this helps some of you guys my silver bar is freezing now um, so guys this is my second video for the day as always like comment subscribe and I hope this helps somebody eventually but for now Brandalog is out